Hey everybody, it's Into the Stars. Good morning. And um, we're going to have our history lesson, rabbit hole journey for today. Uh, first of all, I did some research on Portugal. And uh, Portugal actually contains some very historic sites. Dolmens, they're called. Stone circles. Now the dolmens actually are these rock-like structures that could not have been created by man or with the technology that they had at the time. We're talking thousands of years BC before Christ, before they had technology to do these things. So they must have either be, been created by someone with advanced technology or a very large person. And I will leave it at that. But um, those are these are the dolmens and I'm going to show you some really cool pictures of these dolmens and then I'm going to connect that to the pyramid that was found off of the Azores. There's actually some alignments there. Now, there are also these cart tracks that they found um, going all throughout the Azor Islands and also um, off the coast of Portugal. The two um, societies seem to be connected. And uh, they don't know what these cart tracks are for, but they are very profound. Um, this is the Ante Grande do Zambu Giro. Giro and it is the, the largest stone passage mound in all of Europe. Okay, this is a dolmen. They call them passage mounds because they seem to have a passage into maybe another reality or universe. At least that's what they say. So what I did with some of these points is I plotted them. I actually plotted this Anta Grande, the Zumbu Hero, because it is the largest stone mound. So I tried to plot everything that was noteworthy um, or extreme in its dimensions. I figured uh, those places would be the ones that would probably have the alignments. So that's what I do on the map after we go through this. Uh, this is the Orca complex. Look how impressive this is. This is a uh, elevated granite bedrock. I actually plotted this one as well on the map that I'll show you. And this is the Evora complex, okay? This is actually um, the oldest stone circle in all of the world. It is older than Stonehenge. So of course I plotted that as well. This is the Menhir. I plotted this one. It is the largest in the Iberian Peninsula. It stands 7 meters high. So uh, that's 21 feet, you guys. Very impressive. This actually was moved, so I did not plot this point because it had been moved. They actually flooded a valley with a dam near here, and they actually submerged several other ancient sites. More destruction of our history, either that or they are attempting to hide it. And uh, you can check this website. I mean, this is just amazing. The size of these megaliths is just astounding. Um, could not have been if created by a man. And I could barely find information on these things. Wikipedia tends to overlook many of these. Um, and so I did find this site, ancientwisdom.co, UK, Portugal. Okay, now we're going to go to the map, you guys. And this is what I found interesting. You look here. And here are some of the sites, as, as I told you, that I'd plot. We're going to zoom in here. This is Portugal. Okay. And... Uh, Here's the largest men here. We mentioned that. It's in Maida. Um, Ante Grande San Bujiro, which is the circle. I'm sorry. The oldest stone circle is Almendres, and the Ante Grande San Bujiro was the, uh, the stone dolmen, the largest stone dolmen. Now, this was interesting. We're going to go over to Giza. We're going to go look at the pyramids in Egypt and all I did you guys was draw a line from Giza through this stone circle okay um, the Almendri's stone circle and I'm going to show you that there's the line and drew it from the Great Pyramid and for time's sake we won't zoom in but it's on the tip of the Great Pyramid you can see it there and then we went back here. An amazing thing happened.
Now, they already acknowledge that these structures here in Portugal do align with the solstices, okay? When you line them up, they acknowledge that on that website. But what they don't acknowledge is that when you line these things up, it actually points to another pyramid. Actually, the pyramid that they discovered off of the coast of the Azores. Now, a couple of points of clarification. Actually, what we're going to do first is we're going to zoom in. I'm going to show you how this goes right through the center of uh, the stone circle because that's pretty impressive too. And a point of clarification, um, I, we did look at, um, you know, some of these pyramids under the water. We do not have the coordinates yet, and so my apologies. I, I made some assumptions about some of the possible places where this uh, pyramid could be off the coast, but the scale was completely off. Okay, um, we're talking 90 meters. Um, what we were looking at were thousands and thousands and thousands of meters. So we will have to wait for the coordinates of the exact location of this pyramid. But my guess is it will line up with some of these. Now here's the stone circle here. This is supposedly the oldest stone circle in Europe. Look at this thing. This is pretty impressive. And these things are you know scattered around here and. And this line, I try to get it exact as possible, but it's it is off by maybe a hundred me, uh, hundred meters or so. Okay, you can see the line there. It's pretty close though, because it, I'm dealing with angles here, and they aren't exact. But um, watch, this is amazing. This points directly to the location where they are saying that they found this pyramid. Okay. So we will have to find the exact coordinates, but what they're telling us is that this particular pyramid discovery was made between the islands of Tisira, which is this island here. Let's uh, plug these in so you guys can see. And uh, that, disregard that, that was a possible location that I thought it could be. But somewhere in this area. Now it is only under 40 meters of water so that limits some of the areas that it can be under. So it's between the islands of Sao Miguel and Tercera is what it states in the article is where this discovery was made. And they say it's somewhere on some shelf, the Dom Jao shelf or something like that. So the line comes and hits the tip of San Miguel, so it's possible it could be somewhere in this area, or somewhere in this area. These are shallow areas here, which is where a pyramid could be. These are very deep areas, with a few points coming near the surface. So um, I'm anxious to see where these coordinates are of this pyramid. If anyone has these coordinates, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments section, and we'll get working on this, okay? Alright, you guys, take care and be safe.